Hello everybody, welcome back to another Binding of Isaac top 10 video. Today, I look to glean more views off of already successful videos. Nah, I'm just kidding. It's been over three years since I made my top devil deal and angel deal item videos, which means that Afterbirth Plus wasn't even out yet when I recorded them. That's insane to even think about. In this video and one to follow, we're going to look at my own honest and fairly controversial opinions about what the best deal based items are in Afterbirth Plus. Clearly this list will change yet again in repentance, but that's a road we're going to cross later. Today we look at the top 15 devil deal items in the game. Devil deal items are gotten by not taking red heart damage on a floor and then sacrificing HP to get strong items from the devil. Why are we doing a top 15 and not just a top 10? There's a lot of really good items in this pool and it's hard to choose just 10. It should be noted that this is fully my opinion and it's almost certain you will not agree with this list. That's okay, just explain why you disagree in the nicest fashion in the comments below. Without further ado, three years in the making, let's hop in. Number 15, Ceremonial Robes. It's so difficult putting this at 15 for me, which is stupid since it's the first entry on the list. Ceremonial Robes is a small plus one damage up that also gives you three black hearts. It's literally an instant take item, zero downsides, and it puts a dope looking black hood on Isaac. I put it at 15 because there are genuinely 14 other better items in my opinion, but the nice thing about this item is if offered in a devil deal, it's always takeable since you always have the HP to take it. That makes it super strong and a perfect first entry on the list. Number 14, the Pact. This is simply another instant take item as it can't kill you due to the HP it gives back. We're gonna see that multiple times on this list. The Pact is an excellent smaller plus 0.5 damage up and a plus 0.7 tears up that also gives two soul hearts on top of it. It's one of the only tears up devil deal items, which makes me put it slightly above ceremonial robes. The only negative is the item is a two heart devil deal item, which means most times you're trading two red hearts for two soul hearts, which is a relatively poor trade for most people, but it's still a fun item and a great devil deal. Number 13, Succubus. Succubus is one of my favorite items in the game, so I naturally rate it a bit higher, but I also still think it absolutely deserves to be on this list. A small little demon floating around the room, passively dealing 30% of Isaac's current damage to enemies is great, but the benefit comes from the damage aura that he gives you. When standing in it, Isaac receives a 1.5 times damage multiplier, which can really ramp up your damage quick. Succubus scales against enemies really quickly as you build your run since his damage is based off of yours. It makes it a strong familiar and in my opinion is one of the best you can get from a devil deal. Number 12, Incubus. Speaking of familiars from devil deals and what many people consider to be the best, Incubus is a little companion who fires shots exactly as you do, gives you pseudo 2020, not a valid Linux command, and does a lot of damage. Incubus will fully mimic Isaac's shots and damage which results in really wacky synergies. It may be Lilith's starting item, but it will be useful for all Isaac characters and offer a strong damage bonus on your run. The only downside is it can be really finicky to use when you pick it up later in a run and it's near the back of your familiar line, but you'll still benefit enough to make it worthwhile. Number 11, Rotten Baby. And finally, the best familiar in my opinion. Rotten Baby is underrated and one of the best items early game in Isaac and will help carry your damage by repeatedly producing blue flies that will attack enemies. These flies scale with Isaac's damage and help you quickly clear rooms. People gave a lot of hate on my top 10 familiars video for having him at the top, but I stand by my decisions I make. It isn't a flashy item, but it's way more useful than people give it credit for and is one of my favorites in the game. Number 10, Empty Vessel. Empty Vessel is very underrated as a deal item and I was utterly impressed with how strong it was when I first got it some many years ago. Directly upon picking it up, you'll receive two black hearts, and if you have no red hearts, a scenario in which better players often try to get to, you're also going to gain flight and invincibility every 40 seconds in rooms with enemies. That's a lot of value for an item and can make some rooms safer to go through. It synergizes really well with items like Horror Babylon, another devil deal item, Potato Peeler, and Abaddon as they all help to remove red hearts and enable that good passive flight. It's a multifaceted item and an excellent find. Number 9, Death's Touch. 
It feels filthy and wrong to have Dust Touch at 9 on any list. For some people, this could be near the top, and for good reason. Piercing, high plus 0.1.5 damage, looks dope, bigger tiers, it, it checks all the boxes. Piercing is one of the best tier effects in the game and can help obliterate enemies in standard rooms both early and late game. My only gripe with Dust Touch is it is a minus 0.3 tiers down, which makes it harder to carry you early if you cannot pick up other upgrades to support it. But look, it's a top 50 item in the game most likely if I ever made that list. Oh my god, please don't make me do that. This is a good item. Number 8, I've Belial. Tyler, Death Touch should be above this because it doesn't give a damage up, it's just piercing. Mmm, that's where you're wrong, you little smartass commoner. Aya Belial is an item that gives you range, tier height, and yes, piercing, but it also does double damage to any enemies it hits after piercing while also homing in on them. This creates a whole slew of synergies while not providing the tears down from Dust Touch. It can mow down enemies in standard rooms and paired with other items it can be an absolute boss killing machine. This is one of my favorite items and I rate it high for that reason. It looks good, it feels good, and it deserves number 8. Number 7. Sacrificial Dagger Full stop, this is just the best orbital in the game. Can, can we just move on to number 6, or do I really have to talk about this one? In the hands of an experienced player, just picking up Sack Dagger is a win, and can be a speedrun win at that. It's a long orbital, covering a lot of Isaac defensively. It has the highest damage rate in the game at 15 damage per tick, or 225 damage per second. And it's cheap at only a one heart deal. Whole lot of value for a really excellent item. Number 6, Maw of the Void. Somehow I feel like Maw of the Void is the most underrated, incredible item in the game. I'm not really sure how this one slips out of people's list, but it's an immediate 1 damage up with a 5% chance to generate black hearts and immensely damaging enemies with the rechargeable damaging aura. We've officially passed into my I pick this up, I will be winning the run territory of devil items. It's so good early on because you can farm flies and other small enemies on those initial floors for black hearts, stack up HP, and then use the aura to kill. I'm a number guy, so I'd love to tell you how much damage that aura does, but it ain't documented, so I'm gonna say it do a lot and item make bad people go boom boom. Number 5, Abaddon. Tyler, you pronounced it wrong. Well, you know what? So did the Hebrews, because that's how they pronounced it and we got the word from them. Abaddon is a god tier item and synergizes so well with many other items like Horde Babylon, Empty Vessel, and most importantly, the Polaroid. Another item that is impossible to die with upon picking it up, it gives 6 black hearts in return which makes any amount of red hearts below that an increase in HP, while also giving 1.5 damage, 0.2 speed, and the chance to fear enemies. Just a monster item based off a monster and well deserving at number 5. Number 4, Judas's Shadow. Alright, we've gotten into my fairly controversial top 4 because they all have inherent problems, so I'm gonna argue for them and argue against them, and you just gotta bear with me. Judas's Shadow provides an extra life that will allow you to respawn as Dark Judas, a character with a 2 times damage multiplier, this is the highest of any character in the game, and an increased speed multiplier. That extra life allows you to spend it on blood machines, or demon beggars, or even more devil deal items just to respawn as an even stronger version of yourself with enough HP to survive. It's such a strong item, but if you are using it to complete post-it notes, it's kind of useless. If you're streaking with just one character, it's kind of useless. It can be super good if you're not and you don't care about respawning as a new character, but many people early in their Isaac life will be worried more about post-its and this item could damper that. Number 3, Mom's Knife. Say what you will, it's pretty much an auto-win item when you pick it up. Say what you will, it's also the boringest item in the game, even if you watch my top 10 Mom's Knife Synergy video and learn the only 10 synergies in the game for it. It's just a boring item, man. It kills anything fun and exciting synergizing before picking it up. Stupid amount of damage, one-shots most bosses on a good run, but are you having fun? Maybe? I don't tend to have a lot of fun with Mom's Knife, but I respect it for what it is, and if I need a good win in my Eden streaks and the run is bad, you best know I'll be taking it. Number 2, Mega Blast. I mean, what's there to say? It's borderline as close as you get to auto winning a run, and it's a dang one heart deal. A massive brimstone laser that wipes out everything in the room, and you carry it between rooms, charging it up so you can use it again once you're done. 
Sure, it's one of the hardest unlocks in the game, but that literally doesn't matter at all in these rankings. I rank it high because on a top 15 list, yeah, Mega is a top item. It can kill everything fast, and that makes it good. But it's definitely a novelty item in the game. For me, using it once was kind of enough. It's boring, it doesn't offer any rewarding feeling when you use it, so I didn't put it at number one, even though a part of me genuinely thinks it should be there. I want to know your opinion below. Finally, at number one, Brother Bobby. Nah, I'm just kidding. It's Brimstone. Let's be honest, it sat at the top of a couple lists, and in terms of what I go for in a top 10, I think it's pretty safe to put it here. It's a loved item by many that has a good chunk of synergies, can take over a run, but isn't so strong that it just wins the game without any effort. Some runs can be harder with Brim, some easier, and the item is fun to use, which gives it a step up on Mega or Mom's Knife. Sure, the occasional Tammy's head can get out of hand and spiral a run into being too easy, but it's that balance between items, the ability to synergize, all that makes me rank Brimstone above the other ones. It's a great item, and I'm happy it's in at number one. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to like it and comment with your top 10 list so I know you had some fun. Devil Deals can be so strong, and there's even still items I can make a case for that I left off the list. Go ahead. I'm looking at you, buddy. It's been fun, but it's time now to compare our top Devil Deal items to something else. Maybe next video. Thanks again for watching, and I hope you have a great day. Goodbye.